You are fake news. During Trump's first year in office, the U.S. Press Freedom Tracker, which is led by the Freedom of the Press, Press Foundation and the Committee to Protect Journalists, recorded 34 arrests of journalists and 44 physical attacks against journalists. We believe that uh, the First Amendment is a fundamental right and it should be protected everywhere. This would only allow prosecution if a journalist was physically attacked. It doesn't limit anyone from criticizing uh, the press. Donald Trump can go along his way and continue to declare the press the enemy of the state. That's not good for democracy, but that wouldn't be a crime here. It just for the record, that, uh, there is a camera present in this hearing room. Uh, King TV is here and the uh, other reporter is present. As you watch this short video, know that I have worked for the Indianapolis Star and the Ohio Call and Post newspapers as a Daily Beat reporter and editor, respectively. I was a First Amendment scholar before I finished law school in 1993, and the only classes I actually earned A's in were constitutional law and First Amendment law before I went on to win several First Amendment trials. So. Don't you touch my camera. Yeah, Don't you touch my camera. Don't you touch my I want him arrested. Now, now he's on me. Pardon the remnants of my cold, by the way. But please take a look at some of these more extreme examples. Now, while the actual physicality of these other attacks is in some ways greater than mine, my example is no less egregious. This is particularly true in light of the fact that this was a controlled environment in which we have a highly established lawyer as the perpetrator of violence. Now, to compound the injury, he and his lawyer both refused to show any contrition or remorse. His lawyer, Terry Johnson, uh, sits on a panel of the Office of Lawyer Regulation as I now currently await the final determination as to what should happen to attorney Mark Rattan. That's the uh, respondent in this case. Um, now, Johnson chided me recently with a comment, you haven't changed a bit. Now, this from a man who has a history of representing abusive white men of privilege, including a frat house that has been banned from college campuses and has actually killed someone. So, well, the point is, folks, we as journalists don't have to change, especially when we are operating within the clearly prescribed limits of the law. I have never defied any order of this particular tribunal, yet when I question why the hearing officer failed to admonish the establishment lawyer for attacking me, he threw me out. Now, apparently I am not allowed to tell him I will be raising uh, the question of his conduct with the Wisconsin Supreme Court. I guess reporters don't have that authority in Wisconsin. But I will not have you interrupt or in any way interfere with this, all right? And if I note that there's intimidation going on of anybody in this room, I will ask you to leave. So you've been warned of that. You may have a right to be here, but you don't have a right to interfere with this hearing. And I also want everybody to know that this is the only official record in this case. This court reporter is making the official record in this case. So the purpose of having a videographer here is unknown to me, but I'm letting you all know that that's my position. So when you start snapping pictures of everybody in this room, if I feel it in any way is there for the purpose of harassment, I will ask you to leave. So you are, you are being formally warned. A videographer should set up a camera and let it run. When you start snapping pictures, you're beyond, you're already on questionable ground here. So you've been warned. Now, if I may briefly, Your Honor, I, I have, ever since I was a trial attorney, I've been running my own videos of cases since the 90s with VHS. I have never once encountered any situation in which I've been professionally reprimanded, and I don't intend to run up all of that today. That's funny for me right now. Correct. Well, we're on the record. Right. I want these cameras out of my face. Don't you touch okay. my camera. Yeah, I'm Don't you touch my camera. Don't you touch I want him arrested. Now, now he's on me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Let's all deal with this in a mature, appropriate, professional fashion. I have been. All right. I will make that decision. I've made my ruling. I understand your issue. That camera's been pointed at me and the witness for most of the hearing already. You're going to follow my orders or you're going to be ordered out of this room? I've been following your orders and I will continue to do so. I'm not going to take talk back from you. 
If you want to take a few pictures, take them. I was Otherwise, you're going to be ordered out of this room. You're real close. Why did you order him out of me yesterday when he attacked me? You're doing it again. That's a question. Now, I, you don't get to ask me questions. You get to follow my orders. I'll take it up with the Supreme Court. I'm done talking. Right. Thank you. You're, you're out of here. You're out of here now. I will note for the record that uh, there is a camera present in this hearing room. Uh, King TV is here and the uh, other reporter is present. Uh, I have talked to the attorneys involved in the matter about the presence of that camera. Uh, it is obviously a public hearing and open to the public. Uh, my concerns earlier was on space, which has been resolved at this particular location, and also with any effect it has on um, the witnesses that will be giving testimony. Uh, I have consulted Mr. Karp and uh, Mr. and Mrs. Green, and they are all comfortable with that camera being present and having this recorded. Is that correct, Mr. Kirk? It is. Yes. It is. With that affirmation, I'll turn to the department. Uh, obviously, you're representing a state agency, Mr. Young. You and your potential witnesses on rebuttal have any objection to the camera being yeah. present today? Very well. Yeah. We will proceed in that regard. In 20 years since I started running video of my own civil rights trials, I have not been put out of court for my conduct in probably 200 or more hearings or trials until today.